G'day beer lovers, <laughs> how's it going? Now today I am going to drink and try Australia's most popular beer. Now when you think of Australia's most popular beer, what do you think of? Well, it's not the beer that I thought <laughs> that is the most popular, but apparently it is. It's drunk by 17% of all beer drinkers here in Australia, so that's a pretty big and high amount. And well, the closest one below that is VB tied with 4X Gold. So this beer is Australia's favorite. And well, I, I, it's not one that I usually drink, but uh, I must say if it is at the pub on tap and there's nothing else, <laughs> then I do drink this one. But just some extra like interesting facts about uh, beer drinking here in Australia. Yo, my neighbour is coming to see if I'm here to go and drink a beer with him. A bit later, buddy. Anyway, um, last year, 37% of Australian adults, some 6.8 million people drank beer in an average four weeks. I don't even know what that means. With nearly nine out of every 10 or 6 million people drinking at least one Aussie beer in that time. The most popular beer drunk by 17% of the country's beer drinkers is Carlton Draft. I would never have guessed that. And what's it go on saying? This 17%, then uh, VB and uh, Forex Gold, 12%, and Cooper's Pale Ale, uh, 11%, and Crown Lager, 8%. So there you go. Now this is made by CUB, the same people that make VB and Crown Lager. And what's the percentage of this? Oh God, sucks being old, doesn't it? I better put my beer goggles on. Uh, now the percentage of this is... Uh, I don't know. I'm not a beer genius. And do you think I can read this? Like... You'd think I would have prepared for these videos, wouldn't you? <laughs> no! Except that I did look that up. Maybe it says in this thing here. I'm pretty sure it's a full strength beer though. I mean, it is a full strength beer. I mean, come on. Does it say anything here? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to look it up. God. Look, I just spent some time looking it up and I still can't find it. Let me just say, let me guess about 4.9%. <laughs> it's 1.4 standard drinks anyway in this thing, which most 1.4%, uh, actually, is that 4, 5.1%? Oh, I'll have to look it up. 4.6%! Oh. Well, that was hard, wasn't it? <laughs> I get the writing on this, I mean, even if I held it here and did all this stuff, I mean, can you read that? The Whoever that designed this label just made it almost impossible to drink. Oh, drink. Read, I should say. Anyway, we're going to try <laughs> the carton draft. I almost just started to, decided to start drilling. Oh, God. What you got to drill somewhere else, mate? Yeah. Crikey! Hate it when they start making noise. Every time I try to do a video on this place, everyone's always starts mowing their lawn or hedging or deciding to fight. Maybe uh, like, well, we won't get into that. Anyway, is it a twist top? Of course it is. Yeah, man. Alrighty, so here we go, the Carlton Draft. Australia's favorite lager. Has it got anything written there? I can't read it even if it has. So this is made by the same people that make the VB, which I had, was it yesterday? <laughs> but look at the colour of it. Oh, it looks like VB, doesn't it? I wonder if it is. It wouldn't surprise me actually if it's the same. <laughs> they just rebrand it. So uh, people outside Victoria will drink it. I actually thought this was um, from um, New South Wales. Anyway, there you go. I even learn something every day. So that's what it looks like. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful, clean looking lager, that one, isn't it? Nice color. It looks full bodied too, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, it smells 
so good. It just smells like a real beer should smell. Uh, I'm smelling like molten hops. I'm not smelling flowers. I'm not smelling like strawberries. There's no fruit basket attached to this beer. I'm smelling a good old Aussie brew that needs some throat time. So let's go. Okay. Well, actually, um, the first sip, I'm sort of wondering why it's Australia's favourite. I mean, it's, it's not really high on the malt in this and well, it's got a, it has got a clean taste and the, 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 the hops in it are, well, they're there. I mean, they're ahead of the malt, that's for sure. You can sort of just taste some maltiness in this, but it's more a hoppier sort of taste and which is actually sticking on my tongue. And that's sort of where it is. It's actually sticking to the front of my tongue, this one. Hmm. It's amazing how different beers, the hops seem to linger in certain different areas of your mouth. Some are on the roof of it, some are on the back of it, some are down the throat. This one's more a, a, front, a front lingual. That's a word. Let's just say it is. But I oh know it's got uh, it's got some it's like a maltiness about it, but not like your typical maltiness. It's got like a almost like a milkshake maltiness about it, which <coughs> I'm kind of enjoying. Hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's pretty easy to drink. Definitely a session ale, this one. Or a session lager, as we'd call it here in Australia. Oh yeah, I'm smashing this bad boy, I tell ya. Actually tastes pretty good and uh, I, I do prefer it in the draft on tap though, like most beers. Like beers on tap are just always so much better, aren't they? Maybe it's the atmosphere or something, or you're hanging out with mates and you just, or you're watching the footy or something, and I don't know, it just comes out of the. Yeah, maybe it's because it's pints, <laughs> or the schooners or something, big glasses that you got need two hands, or buckets to drink. But this is good. This Aussie male man's, not Aussie male man, this Aussie bloke's milkshake. That's what it is. It's a milkshake for Aussie blokes like me. Mm. It's pretty easy to smash too, I tell you, look at that. But I am enjoying this. It's tasting real nice. Well, not real nice. I thought the VB was a bit better, actually. And, um, well, what's, what's, the, uh, what's this say? I wonder what the score was on the Carlton draft. I reckon it could be about, uh, oh, what's most of them? It's always like a 2.76 or something. Oh, this could be a 2.83, I'm guessing. Oh, no. It's a 2.69. Mm -mm, that's right. Wine me, dine me. Carton drink me, 69 me. The old 2.69. Yeah, so it's less than the VB and in popularity on this thing at least. So, yeah, I mean, what would I give it? I mean, it's easy to drink and it tastes all right and it looks pretty good. And, you know, the shields will probably be all over you if you're slamming a couple of these down. But I wish our old mate next door would stop drilling! But the, uh, uh, what would I give it? Hmm, I'd give it about a, 
Oh, probably a 3.75 myself. I think it's uh, it's not as good as the, the VB I had, which I gave a 4 or 4.25, I forget now. Oh, and it gives me some gas as well. Uh, but I'll give this, yeah, a 3... Uh, uh, nah, a 3.5. I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, this one. It's good. Uh, would I buy a carton of it, though? probably would if I was like going camping or something I wanted a few heavies and it was on special and it was cheap yeah I'd get some of these what's this say about it anything anything that we should know about this uh, CUB uh, Abbotsford Victoria it's made uh, light clean dry and full and sweet <laughs> well it is I don't I wouldn't say it's full Sort of. It's just that little bit, a little bit below full flavoured. I think it. It's just sort of just lacking something. But it it has got that dryness about it from those hops in there. Um. It is clean tasting though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll 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 let you have that one. Uh, it's a traditional full strength lager. Is crisp on the mid palate, with good malt character and smooth full-bodied flavor. Clean hot bitterness gives the brew a slightly dry finish. Yeah, well, that's right. They've nailed it again. And they keep doing this. Are they psychic or something? Or just a bunch of our guys having a good time. Either way, it's uh, Australia's favorite beer by sales. And it's not a bad drop. But there's plenty of better ones out there. And my goal in life is to find the greatest that's ever been. I must say, I must go and get a, uh, what was on this list thing? Was it a Cooper's Sparkling Ale? Is that the one that, no, oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Just hold it. Hold it. Can you wait? Okay. Uh, Coop, oh, Cooper's Pale Ale. Okay. Hmm. Cooper's Pale Ale? Do they do one? Is that the green bottle? I don't know. I'll have to go and search for a Cooper's Pale. And a Crown Lager as well. Give those a go. I know Grandma always used to give me Crown Lagers for Christmas. <laughs> Here's a carton of crownies, Grego. She made me the man I am today. Now, if you want to help me with these uh, videos, you know, go to the bottle line and buy them. I've got my beer fund donation. All donations are welcome, and you do get a shout out. And if old mate would shut his effing drill up, it would make life a whole lot easier. Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm sculling a liar. See you then. Cheers, everyone.